Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to learn about one of the most important topics in React, and that is props or properties. Let's dive right in. Okay, now to set the stage or give ourselves a bit of context, I actually want to begin in this lesson by talking about regular, traditional old HTML for a moment. So in regular HTML, we can give elements attributes, right? Like this div has an ID attribute, or we can give an element a class. We can give an A element the href attribute, right? To create a link, and that's its value. We can give the image element a source attribute and point towards an image file. Well, in React, when we create a component, we're essentially creating our own custom element type. Only we're not limited to the specific attributes that HTML allows. In React, we can use something called props to give any attribute or piece of data to any component. We can make up our own new crazy props or attributes or whatever we want. Now to show you what I mean and for you to see props in action, let's give ourselves a goal. Let's imagine that we want to display information about several different animals or pets on our web page, right? Maybe for each pet, we want to display their name, their species, and their age. So let's make it happen. Right now, I want you to follow along with me. So in the JavaScript column, let's get to work. Before we adjust our overall interface, let's first create a new component and name it pet. So to do that, we can just create a brand new function. So function, and let's name it uppercase pet, just so we're on the same page. So function pet, parentheses, curly brackets, and for now, let's just have it return a list item element. And inside the list item, let's just say, this is a pet. Okay, now we said that we wanted to have maybe three or four or five pets on our page. So now let's use this component. So up at the top in our, our app component, how about right below the time area, we add a bulleted list or unordered list, right? So UL for unordered list close that out. In between those opening and closing tags, let's just have maybe three pets. And again, that's uppercase P for pet. So that's one, let's have a second one, and let's have a third. Okay, and if we check the preview area, there we see the three pets. Only we want to display actual information for each pet, like their name, species, and age. So let's go down to our pet component function. And let's change the actual text inside the list item. So instead of just, this is a pet, let's say blank is a blank and is blank years old, right? And then in reality, it would say something like meows a lot is a cat and is five years old. Now, before we worry about swapping out these blanks with actual values within our reusable component here, let's first go up to the very top, right? Where we are leveraging the pet component three times in a row. And this is where I wanna show you what a prop is. So remember, just like we can add attributes to a traditional HTML element, well, in React, we can essentially just add attributes to our components. So right after pet, we can just say name equals make up a name, I'll say meows a lot. We can give it another attribute or I should stop calling it an attribute. This is a prop or a property. So let's give it a prop of species and say equals quotes cat and let's give it a prop of age. Let's say five. Okay, and let's do the same thing for this next pet. So pet, let's give it a name of maybe barks a lot species of dog, let's say age of two. Okay, and then the third and final pet for now, we can just say name equals fluffy, maybe the species is rabbit, and let's give it an age of three. So these are the props or properties that we are giving to this component or passing into this component. So now the question becomes, how do we actually use these pieces of data within our component? Well, 
React could not possibly make this any easier for us. We just go down to our pet component function, and within the parentheses right after the word pet for this function, we just include a parameter. So let's just say right here in the parentheses, props. Okay, that's it. Now within the body of this function, we can access that data, right? Any of those attributes, or we should call them props or properties that we just added. So check this out. Instead of this first blank, this should actually be the pet's name. So do this with me, just get rid of that first blank. And since we are within JSX, remember JSX is actually just JavaScript. So we just include a pair of curly brackets to do something dynamic or run a bit of JavaScript. And inside the curly brackets, we just say props, right, to work with that incoming data. And then we look inside it with a dot and we just include the name that we're interested in, right? The property, so that's props.name. And then down in the preview, we see Meow's lot is a blank, Bark's lot is a blank, Fluffy is a blank. So let's fill in this second blank. This would be the species. So get rid of that word blank, pair of curly brackets, and we say props.species. Cool, it's looking good. We see cat, dog, and rabbit down in the preview. And then finally, for the age, get rid of this blank, say curly brackets, props.age. Cool, so there we see the age values. Now this is great, but what if instead of just three pets, right? instead of just these three, what if we had 300? In that case, it would be way too many to manually list the pet component over and over here again, right? And have to manually feed in the prop values for each of the 300 pets. Instead, in the real world, when you're working with any decent amount of data like that, you're usually going to be given an array of data. Right, a big chunk of data. And you would want to programmatically loop through the array and do something once for each item in the collection. So that way, even if our array or collection of pets had 3,000 pets, we wouldn't have to list things out like this manually. Well, that's exactly what we're going to learn how to do in our very next lesson. We're going to learn how to loop through an array of items, in this case pets, within the context of JSX. Right? And we want to automatically or programmatically render the pet component once for each pet and feed it the appropriate data and props. This should be a lot of fun to set up. Let's keep things rolling and I'll see you then. To get immediate and lifetime access to the full 15 hour video course, you can find a heavily discounted coupon link in the description for this video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.